Hello guys, it's Paula, and today we're going to do a, um, start decorating the garden journal, the gardening journal. And I, I showed this a little bit in the last video um, to you guys to let you see what it looks like. It's really stunning, and it just lays nicely. And we have all this to put in it. So, we got to get busy and um, get this all decorated and all the design in it done. And it'll be ready to go out the door when I get all that done. So, just so you know, I'm going to show you briefly. I bought this fabric. But I had bought a scrapbooking, a scrapbooking kit. Uh that was a gardening kit cause I just thought it was really cute. Well, I know why I was attracted to this because when I got home and started digging around to find the scrapbooking kit, it looked like this. It looked almost identical. So see, here is the paper. Isn't that crazy? And here is part of the flip. I showed you guys this in the last one, but you can see that when you look at this, you're pretty much looking at that. It's crazy. I know. Okay, so all this stuff here that you see next to me is stuff that's going to go in to the book. Now, mind you, I don't have every single thing done, but I have a lot, most of it done. So we're going to put in pockets, 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 pockets and side tucks, and yeah, belly band. Um, so, what I want to do first is I'm gonna pull out some of the things I for sure wanna make. You know, I wanna make sure they get into the kit. You know, there's always something that might not get into the kit when you make it if you don't have enough room, but you wanna make sure that you have everything you really like in the kit, okay? So, here we go. Now, this is one of the, um, the paper, um, crisscross paper, you know, book page. Um, I'm looking to make sure, I'm double checking words here. You guys know what I mean, right? Okay. I always want to make sure. I do check it, but there's always that chance you can overlook it, if you know what I mean. If I ever do that, you have to know it is definitely an accident. Okay. So, we've got that, and we've got a pocket for the front, a library pocket for this. Now, I worked on a bunch of clusters this last week, and... um so, I'm going to use some of them in this book. And so, this is one of the clusters right here. I did a whole tray, a three-inch tray full of these. Now, it's about, it's about like that. It's about that big, but it's about three inches deep. And it's just overflowing with clusters, so... I added three to this book. So the first thing we're gonna do is get my weight that my friend Paula, who's a subby, got me. Now, I'm on medication. I'm recovering from my surgery, but it makes my mouth really dry. So if I have to take a drink every now and then, or if I sound like I'm slurring. <laughs> That's because my mouth, I'm having my mouth is dry. Okay. I try not to keep water or anything out of my sight because it's hard. You just suddenly, you're, you're having trouble. So, we're just going to glue this down with some Fabri-Tac and try not to go too crazy with it 
but enough that it holds it. Now I'm gonna get around the edges a little bit. So I hope you guys are having a bright and happy Friday. Don't ask me why I asked, said I hope it's bright. Probably because it's bright out of our doors right now. Oh my goodness, let me make sure you're in camera there. You are. Let me pull this a little forward. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm just gonna center, put this in the center. Or it won't be perfectly center because that's not how you want it, but I'm just, I'm putting it where I think my eye likes it. Now let me look. Yeah, that works. The behind the card is this floral print. Whoopsie. And you'll see it on some other things as we go along. I use some of this floral paper also. Okay. So that was easy enough, huh? Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make sure that each signature gets the same amount of stuff. Okay. Now, I do that because I don't want... I, I want it to balance, the book to balance nicely. Okay, so I we made these together. Do you remember? Uh, in the last video, and it was crazy. It was a crazy video. I decided not to stitch them, remember, because I ended up liking them like this. And these are your seed packages. This one has a pocket in the top and in the side here, okay? But the other one only has, it doesn't have pockets. I glued this shut because I wanted this to stay in. And if if I hadn't glued it shut, it, it, it might not have stayed in. So let's do this gray one first. And let's find a place in here for it that I think, you know, will make it look good. Okay. I like that yellow behind it. It looks good, doesn't it? But it has to open in a certain, oh, it can go on either side. That's right. So if I put it right here, it will open like this and then it opens like that. Now, if I put it on this side of the book, it opens like this. Oops, it opens like this and then opens like that. So I think I think that's the better way to put it on the left-hand side. So let's see. How about we put it right here? I kind of like the yellow and this floral looks nice with this floral on the yellow. This yellow is a vintage uh, paper that I have had or bought several vintage papers from a antique shop and they assured me assured me they were antique papers and i actually the package was on them and it, the packages were very old i took them out of the most of them out of the packages i couldn't find a date but i know you could tell and they have a different feel to them so i'm trying to use a few that color coordinate in everybody's books and I don't want to ink them or anything like, or tea stain them or anything like that. Okay, so we're gonna go to the edge here with this one. I wanna put it on the edge and toward the bottom as much as I can. I might just leave a tiny bit of yellow around the edge so that we know it is on there nicely. Okay. So, I'm going to raise it up. Okay. Now, I'm going to make sure it is sticking well. I 
I did not put a pocket. I could have put a pocket right here, but I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna have a lot of pockets in this book, so I didn't wanna add anything extra. We could have put a pocket behind it here as well. We have these cute little, I might look and see if I can find some more to put here before I, um, before it's all done. Now I'm gonna go over to the other side of, to the other signature, I'll get out in a minute, and put that one in on this page. Uh, if it looks good on the yellow, oh yeah, it does. Now this one's different, this one does have a pocket. Now let's see, it will go this way, which is kind of odd. So let's see, oh no, I have a flower here. So we're gonna have to do it on this side. If we don't, we'll have to put it somewhere different. And I don't wanna cover up anything. Oh, there's one right there. So that's good, right? We'll put it right here and then it will open out this way and it will have a pocket. And now we're gonna go back and do all the, do anything that doesn't have a, a tag already, we'll go back and do, get some tags, you know, made if we have time. I've got a bunch made already, but you know, that's, that is the plan. Because usually I have to go back and make, you know, more more journaling cards and more and more tags. Okay. So I got up at 3.30 this morning and did not go back to bed until 9.30. Um, I don't know what in the world come over me. I just was bright and I was in here working on this book the whole time and I just got up just a little bit ago. So yes, and it is two o'clock. So I got up at 1.30. Now, I, mind you, I was awake and I was on, I was looking at some digitals and the last hour and a half or so, but yeah. Okay, I got a little bit of glue right there that's kind of sticking up in a weird way. So I want to get that off. Yeah, and I just dip my fingers into the glue. So that's awesome right there. <laughs> oh, mercy. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let's put this little booger down. And I'm going to put it down the same way we did the other one, which is slightly a little bit of a border of the yellow. Right, there we go. So that, those are two big items already in. I'm wanting to do all the big stuff first. Um, the stuff that, you know, I really want to look nice. All right, that looks nice. No gapping or anything here. If it does try to gap on me, I always put those clips on it. All right, so we also have this, which it's going to have to be, you guys remember these? We did these for quite a while, and then we stopped for a while. I wanna put um, this in also. So we'll start back, we're just go from, we put the other in the front half the front half of the first signature. So we'll put this in the second half of the first signature. That way I know everything balances out nicely. This is some avocado dyed paper there. Uh, 
we have to decide. I want this to fold out and not in. So it really needs to go right here. And it looks good up against this pink with this peachy pink color. So I'm gonna ink it super quick so we can move on and do that. I think it will look nice there. And then we can add a pocket to, to it if we would like. I'm not gonna go crazy with the ink. I got a new uh, sponge on here, so you know what that's like. When you have a new sponge on, you have to work really hard to get it covered real good with ink. So I made a bunch of these out of digital papers. Used to, I would use coffee or tea stained papers, but, um, whoops, got a little flip right there on the corner. It's hard to ink uh, something that has been made out of, cough, uh, out of uh, copy paper because it wants to bend. Anyway, I made these, I made a bunch of them out of, uh, out of the, the um, excuse me, I'm trying to concentrate on two things at one time. Out of copy paper, I made it out of coffee paper, but I wanted it where we could flip it over and see. Isn't that pretty? I think that's gonna look really nice. And it, it has some, um, what well, looks like ink on it already, a little bit. I think that this is an antique paperia paper, if you like the digital. Last side here. You have to be careful because this sort of thing at this angle can get torn. <laughs> that would be my luck, right? Okay, so we're going to do it right here on this side. Now, I'm trying to decide, do I want to make a pocket out of this? I really don't. And I'll tell you why. Because it's, it's not real heavy duty and I think it would look lumpy with um, something under it. I've done it before, but with heavier paper. So, I, I, we have so many pockets. Like, there's pockets I'm not even using because there were so many, okay? And um, so, I think we'll not do a pocket under this. Ooh, trying to keep it from falling on everything. Got slippery fingers today. All right, now I've got to get some of this heavy amount off here. It just kind of rolled right off. Okay. And my glue is at its volcano stage. <laughs> Crazy thing. Okay, here we go. We're gonna put this right up to the edge like we have the others. So we're gonna have three flip outs in this book. <clears throat> oh my goodness. I'm growling here. It's wanting to do its own thing and I'm gonna make it follow the rules. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it to do that. I think we did. It may be right on the ragged edge. It is, and it's okay. It's right where I wanted it. It's okay. Slightly, slightly. 
more showing on one end than the other, but that's just a tiny bit, so that's good. No ink is leaking out. I haven't had any leak out yet. Got a knock on wood, right? This is gonna be a fun portion of this journal for the recipient. All these flip outs and stuff, you know. I think they're gonna love it. Okay, so we need to go to the second signature, or the first signature, because we put this in the second one. So we're gonna go to the first signature, and I thought we would do this, or maybe I've decided, this is something similar to what Wendy did in a video. Um, last week or the week before, where you take a bag or an envelope and you add some cardstock to the back of it, bring it up and make it have a long uh, flap. And then when you flip it up, you have writing paper here. And here you have a bag or a pocket, however you wanna call it. Okay, so that is going to be put in the first signature on this side. So really both sides are getting two um, things that flip. This one's going to flip up. <laughs> okay, so I wanna find a good place for it. Let's see. I wanna cover up anything too important. I do like the blue right here. But that page is a shorter page. I don't want to put it on a tea stained page. How about here? I want it with color because there's color in this bag. So how about right here? I think that's perfect. If you wanted to, you could do a pocket at the top or you could do a pocket at the side, but we've got a pocket inside and I think that's plenty. Okay, hold that down right there. And we may get rid of this glue in a minute. It may run completely out. It's trying, it's hardest to cooperate, but <laughs> it's having a hard time. I'm gonna try to get at least this glued down with it. I hate to waste it. You know, I may have told you guys this, you know, we've not had a lot of things to talk about on our YouTube channels recently. I've noticed I'm not the only one. Other people, <laughs> other YouTubers have said the same thing, you know, like, you know, what do we talk about? Well, um, I was gonna order a few glues online from Walmart, you know, cause they're only 9.97, this size is the large size at Walmart. If you go in there and buy them, that's what you pay. And if you go in there, you'll also, uh, you can also get your, uh, if you got the Fiskars uh, trimmer, you also can get the blades for four ninety something, which is normally $8 at Hobby Lobby. Okay, let me get this on here and then I'll finish telling you. All right, we've got a lot of glue going on here. We're gonna do it the same way, and then we'll have all of our flips in this book. Down in the corner, just a little bit here. Let me make sure. Yeah. All right. Anyway, um, this went down easier than that other one for sure. We'll have to make some kind of tag. I was thinking, I said we weren't gonna do tags, but I was thinking I might put this one in there. We'll see. Um, anyway, so when I got online, it the glue was $15.97. I was like, what? Since when do you jump from 997 
to $15.97. Now, Michael's has always charged that price for theirs. Theirs has always been $15.90 something. Hobby Lobby is $11.99. So if I, I get it at Hobby Lobby and I get it at Walmart is pretty much what I do. Okay, so that should be pressed down. Pretty good, let me make sure we don't have any gaps. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, anyway, I was so frustrated. I was like, that's price gouging. So I went over and I looked at um, the blades. And the blades were $8.97. Yeah, I think Walmart is getting all this praise for being so helpful during this time. But are forgetting that people don't have jobs and can't pay more. You know, they need to be able to pay less, not more. Okay, so this would be pretty on here. On this pink. But I'm thinking I'd rather have it on the other side of the page. Yeah, right here. So, it's going to be in the second signature. This pocket is. I love that. The only thing is, is over here, you have, where'd it go? <laughs> where'd it go? Over here with the pink paper. Well, it wouldn't matter because it's, they're both the same. Okay. Anyway, so I was just aggravated. So I told my husband, I said, you know, the glue is going to be hard to find if they don't restock, you know, during all of this and. So, you know, before Hobby Lobby closed and before all the stores closed, he ran and got me, you know, several bottles. But, um, yeah, he got them at Hobby Lobby and he got them at Walmart. And that was before I knew about the price gouging. And I'm sure there's many, many other things. If there's something that you like to get there, at a reasonable rate. You should check it out and see. I, I would be curious. Um, it's sad that uh, people have to be taken advantage of in that way. Okay, so here we go. We're almost got all the glue on this. I'm trying to get all the big things in here first. Okay. Let me make sure there's glue everywhere. Now, this is a heavier thing, so it might take some clips. You know, I've noticed that when it when your item is heavier, it takes a little bit more power to get it to stay down where, where you're putting it, especially on the corners and sides when there's a pocket or something like that. But I like to rub it for a minute, and this is why I take the extra time to do it. Um, because I want it to seal nicely and not ever come off. Uh, and I like to also put it between my hands if, if I can. All right, so it looks like it's not popping up. So that's good, right? Okay, I might just put, just cause history tells me I should, just put a clip on each corner here. This is going to be the cutest gardening book I've ever made. I really think it's darling. Okay, so we're in the second signature of the first, our second half of the first signature. So we're going to go to the same place over here and try to do things in some kind of balanced way. Some kind of balance. So we can do, um, let me see what else I've got over here. We've got pockets. 
pockets and pockets and pockets. We have another one of these also, but I wanna wait and see if I need it. And the reason is, is those are real bulky. And I made those way, way far ahead of time. So um, I've got a side tuck and I used some really cute uh, crocheted like a trim on it. This is pretty uh, right there next to that yellow, isn't it? Um, I think I'm going to put it there. I'm not sure. I also like it right here. But I hate to cover this, but I could put it right there. Um, let me look. Hmm, that's too busy. Well, I think we're going to do a belly band right here. Let's go ahead and just do a belly band on this hat. And we will then determine... <laughs> I'm going to wipe some of this glue off because can't other glue can't come out because this is such a mess. It kind of plugs up your, your glue gun. I mean, your, your glue tip. There we go. Okay. Now, Make sure this is nice and straight. right now that looks nice you know I was sitting here thinking it would be pretty if I had some crocheted trim uh, down this as well let me wait and see how bulky it is because the trim is also pretty bulky all right so now we'll go back to Signature one, the first half. And we'll decide where we're going to put the flip, this tuck. I like it with this pink, but that side has a... Edith Holden paper. Oh, this is pretty. How about we put it here? That would look nice, huh? Yeah, I'm looking ahead just to make sure we don't miss a better place. I think that is the better place as we go along. Okay, I wish you'd look. I wiped this off just and hasn't, haven't even used this stupid thing and it's already everywhere. Now, <laughs> Well, I guess I did use it on the on uh, the belly band. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to put a stream of glue along this side. 
that can withstand anything you tuck in there. All right. Okie doke. I just love these little galoshes. Gardening boots, whatever you want to call them. That's what I call them. Let me make sure I'm on the actual page because we have all different size pages. Let's see. Yes. Again, this is something I like to make sure it stays on. It looks like it's staying just fine, but I'm going to clip it just to be on the safe side. I like to do that so we can move on to the next. Just going by experience, you know, of putting these particular things in the book. Okay, so we're going to do uh, the next thing. Let's see. I've lost track of where we're at. Let's see. I think, I think we'll just double check. <laughs> okay, so we have in the first signature, we should have two things in. So that's one. That's two. Okay. And then we should have two here. There's one. And this is two. Okay. So that's two things in the first signature. And let's see. I, I know... I swore there was one more thing, but maybe not. Oh, it's over here. Okay. Uh, and then we should have two things, one in each signature over here. Okay, there's one. Make sure that's sticking nicely. Okay. There's two. I think we actually have three. There's three. So we have three things in the back. The back. Uh, the second half of signature two. So that's what we need to do in signature one. It's so easy to get thrown off. Okay. So let me see the next thing I want to put in. Um, I have... We're actually going to be down to pockets, I think. Yeah, we are. So, and that's fine. We we still, we're going to have a belly band, but I don't have a, the ruffle on it yet. I didn't want to um, not do the video because I didn't have that ready. So, we're going to go to part two of signature one. So we have pockets. We have cute little pockets. Let me show them to you. There's four of them, and they're going to be flat pockets, so think you don't have to worry about things falling out of your journal. I do like dimensional pockets, but I'll tell you, I hate it when stuff starts falling out of the pockets. So let's go right over here. I'm thinking right here would be a good spot uh, to put one of the pockets. Maybe right there. Right? Okay. Now, I'll try my hardest to do a very, very thin thing of glue. Let's 
So my son called me last night and I think my sweet daughter-in-law's mother is very ill. She was driving down there really late last night. Uh, one stayed over and um, I've been worried and, and agitated for her. I haven't heard from my son yet, so try not to be that person that just calls in at the wrong time, you know? Um, all right, here we go. Let me, I'm looking here to make sure I didn't miss a spot. Okay. All right. So I put a few washi, um, now I'm gonna center these the best I can. I put a few washi um, flowers. I don't know if you're all familiar with those, but they're so cute. This is one right here. Um, they just blend right in with whatever, and um, they're really cute. Okay. Oops. I really don't think I need this on these. That one's so flat. We don't need that. Okay. Now. We're going to go to the first signature. Or the second. No, we just did the second. Now we're going to start back in the in the front. Because I want to get back on track. You guys know what I mean. It's, it's easy to get off when you're going back and forth, back and forth. At least for me, it is. So that looks nice. Okay, so we're going to put in another pocket. So I want two pockets like these in each signature. So we just did this one in the second half. So we're going to do the other one in the first half. But I want to find just the right spot. This would be a nice place. We don't have anything right here next to this iris. So let's do this one right here. I'm looking to see if there's another place I like better. I'm always questioning whether that's the spot or not. I think this is cute here because it looks like gardening, like a garden. So we're going to use this one instead. All right. was well, not my best gluing. I like to try to do it thin when it comes to these because you want to be able to get something in there, right? It's the bottom I didn't I didn't I got a little heavy right there. So we'll see what happens. Keep your fingers crossed. Okay. Oh, my first little little bit of glue sticking out. Aren't you guys proud of me? And it's just a tiny little bit right there. 
and that is unusual for me. Usually by now I've been wiping glue up half a dozen times. You guys know this about me. All done. All right, I got to keep track of time. We went way over in the last video, like 16 minutes. So I can't, can't let that happen again this time. We've got 15 more minutes. Uh, I was like, oh my goodness, my husband, when I handed it to him, he goes, a little, uh, did you get like, um, how do you say it? D did you just talk a lot or? <laughs> I said, no, we just, it just, time got away from me, you know? And uh, so I like that also, but I think I'm gonna do it this one. Yeah. So anyway, her mom is, you know, is a widow and She's not been well for a few years and um, just started getting weak. And so hopefully she'll, she'll pull through. It doesn't, from what the doctors are saying, they don't expect her to, but I believe in miracles. And um, so does my daughter-in-law. So, um, you know, that's how it is. I believe it can happen. I haven't heard from my son on whether or not it happened overnight. They were being told it was going to happen through the night. But I'm going to say no, it didn't. Okay. Now... put this one right here boy howdy and I know it didn't look like that much glue but I guess I got too much glue on that I wiped off some you know sometimes that happens you have to get so close to the edge when you do these little pockets because you know the um, you don't want to take up all the space. Okay, let me kind of erase some of this. Erase it. I guess we can call it erasing the glue. <laughs> Removing is the correct term. Remove some of this glue. I go through these little adhesive removers. This is my second one, I've got, I've had a new one, um, cause I knew this one was getting smaller, <laughs> but That little corner just doesn't want to cooperate. Okay, I think we got it all. Don't want to leave any in there because it'll close it up. All right. So this pocket turned out pretty too. I'm pleased with it. I felt some glue right there. It's a tiny little bit right at the top. Just gonna use my finger now. Just don't want the pages to stick together. Okay, so we're gonna go back this way and we're gonna go to the second signature and let's see 
what I want to put there because this other pocket has to go in the second half. Okay, so I think I have a coin, a little coin. Okay. Let's see. I got to double check something. Make sure that my pockets are in the right places. There's one. Two. Okay, and I know I put one in here. So I'm gonna wanna go ahead and put another pocket on this side. That way there's two in each signature. Hmm. There it is. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, we need it back. We need this other one on this back portion. So I'm thinking this is perfect because we've got this pink right here. That couldn't have been any easier. Trying to keep that from happening this time. We'll see. So, <clears throat> we live, our house is on a pond, not on a pond, but by a pond, and we have, this is, you know, the time of the year that you start seeing little baby things. Um, we have a lot of ducks, a lot of ducks, and a couple cranes, and I mean, you name it, we've got it out there, but... Um, and this is the time of year that the ducks, the female ducks, uh, have, have their babies. And they usually have very large numbers, like anywhere from 10 to 15 babies is usually what we see. So I went to the door a few days ago uh, to open the blinds. It was morning and I was going to open up the blinds a little bit, get some sunshine in and right there in our backyard was a mama and 12 babies and i'm here to tell you those babies were brand new they were barely walking and they were so adorable it's like they know what to do when they're born they know to float <laughs> you know there's not really any teaching them to swim they know what it's all about and i uh, got that just a tiny bit off but it will be fine. Okay, so now, and then yesterday, my husband said he saw her out there and she only had two babies. So that's the hard and sad part with um, little animals this time of year. The big ugly ones come along and take over the place. Okay, so I have some seed packets that I want to use uh, as side tucks. So like this, okay? And I'm leaving the seeds in there. I hope that's okay. I didn't want to cut them open. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I can get them out. Give me a second. Oops, no. I don't want them to... Um, you put some glue back there. I don't want them to be, you know, torn. I don't want to tear them. So 
I'm going to use them as side tucks. Now, I got that one wet, so we may have to skip and come back until that dries. Because I started to tear it and it didn't want to open. But what else is new, right? Okay, well, if I put the glue on that side, it will be fine. It will be fine. I was gonna do it like this on two pages because I do have two more. But I think I'm just gonna do one to each side because, you know, it's, it'll be a little too much. You know, it doesn't take a lot to for it to be too much. So I'm gonna make this All right, let's see if this will look all right. This thing is gonna have a lot of pockets and I may or may not be able to fill them all, but they'll be, be there for the person to uh, put things in. Because these, I just have some cute pockets this time. And I, you know, you don't want to uh, not use them. I put the little tabs on here this morning. I felt like uh, I would have preferred that. I don't think you want lace or any kind of trim on a gardening journal. It just doesn't make sense to me. So yeah, that is going to be, that's really a cute way to do a tuck. Glad I bought these at the Dollar Tree. And um, I'm glad I did. I knew, I bought them last year, or maybe even the year before. But I knew I was going, I had plans to do this. I've had everything to do this book for so long. But, you know, you just have to go with how things work, how time, you know, is, and time and seasons, and all of that. Okay, so we've got our seed pack down on that side. Now we're going to do it on the other side. Let's go back here. Now, I know that we use this for... We used that side for this would be cute here, you know, with some, but I don't like it's too much, too much going on, too busy looking. No. When I stitch on a page, I really don't like to um I have some other ones of these that's different colors. If I had one with purple flowers, that would be awesome. I'll put it right here. I'm thinking I do. Yep, morning glories. Right there. It's not the same plant, but it is the same color. This glue is impossible. Mercy. Okay.
<laughs> I can feel the seeds in the corner. I'm trying to get them to move. <laughs> See if I can get them to move down where that will glue easier. They're probably old and they're all down in the bottom. I guess we'll just have to tolerate it. That's so funny. I didn't even feel them in the other book, but you can feel them right there, and they will not move. I shook it. <laughs> So they're making themselves known. One of the easiest plants you can grow, don't you think? At least it has been for me. It's morning glories. I don't know that much about gardening. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, there was a time I I did gardening, but I still didn't know that much about it. Ooh. Don't want to glue pages together. All right. We're getting super far in our book. Now let me see what's left. Okay. We have more pockets. Yes, we do. We have more pockets. Now, I do want to do, trying to find the other one. There's this little pocket. Got a couple real small ones, and then the rest are bigger pockets. Let me see. And I don't know, we may not be able to use them all. We'll just have to see. So, I'm going to put one in on each side. Let's find a cute little spot for this one. And we are talking yellow. Got some little yellow pockets. I think we'll do it right here. That's the little tag. I am not wrestling that glue anymore when I have glue right here to put on it. <laughs> and hopefully this will do okay. I always use Fabri-Tac on my um, pockets but I know that this is definitely strong enough to put on here. So I put the crochet thread across or trim across and then I did use this little applique flower, a little yellow flower. And then I have the little tags, but I'm gonna add something else to the top that's not enough. I just ran out of time yesterday. So I'm gonna leave that line there so it'll be ready to be fixed. Now we'll go over here Maybe we'll be able to put it close to the same place. Nope, that one has pocket already. Let's see. How about right here? I like this spot because of this flower. These flowers over here.
There we go. I want to see how chunky our book is when this is when I'm done here. I don't want it to um, be chunky already because we still have to put tags in here. So we may add more pockets if we have more space at a later time is what I'm thinking. So let's see. Yeah. It's, you know, it doesn't want to stay shut. So that's usually a sign that uh, by the time you add the tags, you're going to have, you know. So, all right. I think I'm going to show you the other pockets. This is one. And this is the tags that go in these pockets. Okay, and I added some little bees. And uh, one of the pockets has blue flowers and one has pink. And so, yeah. And then we have our envelopes and I have a coin pocket that's really cute with all the different stamps. We want to put that in here for sure. But I'm trying to think. I, I don't want this to close where you can't get your little goodies out of here, right? I may make this be a floating. Maybe it can go into a tuck. Let's go over here and see. Can't remember where I put it now. I know that it's on this side somewhere. Maybe it can fit in here. Yeah, but we just need to let it, we need to let it uh, dry really good. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and um, everything. And I, I know I have, I'll just put it this way. Uh, I have another book I'm working on. I have not shown you yet. But it is really pretty, too. So, um, I'm proud of my two books that I'm working on right now. And so, as soon as I finish this one, I'll pull it out and I'll show you. We'll decorate it together as well. It's already put together. But I had to kind of base things around how I was feeling as I worked on those. And... Um, and I did a lot of it before my surgery so that I'd have them ready. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I want you to know I appreciate you all so much. And welcome to all the new subscribers. Don't forget about the giveaway. Go over and find the video that says giveaway, which is just a few videos back. And sign up uh, for two chances to win a journal. All right, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.